when the tornado touched down on the eastern side of town. The darkness added to the confusion. Well, it was sort of frightening. We all ran and jumped in the bathroom and, and just stayed in there until it was all over with. We prayed a lot. By the light of day, residents were able to begin the difficult chore of cleaning up. We're going to have about 50 homes damaged, looks like. We're going to have 10 or 15 probably damaged more than others with some severe damage on the roof with exposed to the rain type situation there. The rest of them are going to have minor damage to the roofs, windows, and this type of thing. In all, about 50 homes sustained some damage. The idiosyncrasies of a tornado were evident. No damage here, but a different story just a few feet away. And this homeowner wasn't planning on a tree growing out of his roof. Capel's only emergency warning system is access to the local cable TV. But just as the city was broadcasting the message, the power went out. Luckily, though, there was only one injury, and that was minor. But with the threat of more bad weather, people were working feverishly to prevent further damage. Clint Bond, Channel 5 Action News, Capel. The funnel cloud dropped out of the night sky, ripping huge sections out of more than half a dozen homes. Many others will require new windows, fences, and shingles. Most of the people who live here knew weather warnings were out, but few actually believed anything could happen in their neighborhood. A number of people here tell me they headed for cover because they simply sensed something was wrong. Those who saw the funnel cloud say they'll never forget it. It looked like a funnel cloud exactly like the Wizard of Oz, except for it was lit up. It had all kinds of sparks inside of it, and it, all the debris and the lumber and the shingles and everything, it just was really spinning in. The, the noise was just like a train that was right there, and it, it, was, it was right there. <laughs> When it was all over, those whose homes had been damaged found their neighbors were also right there to help. Building materials and tools were shared, so it was a sense of relief. The damage, uh, it really doesn't mean that much. We're here, and uh, that's the important thing. We're safe. People here are glad that no one was killed and that all the houses were left standing. But putting it all back together again does have its problems. Some people say they've had good luck getting repairs made, but the majority aren't pleased with the contractors they're dealing with. You don't seem to have a lot of concern that... You're out of your house and you're living in the dining room instead of your bedroom and instead of having seven rooms, you've now got two. Most are satisfied with the way their insurance companies have handled things and they're very happy with the people who live around them. We were friends before but maybe just much closer now. Uh, we one night just sat out in the street till about 11 o'clock, everybody visiting and uh, just having a good time. The residents say sharing a problem and working together to resolve it has turned their development into a real neighborhood. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.